It's got the it's, a, it's a compelling idea that Bitcoin is a store of value, digital gold, if you like. But if it truly is a store of value, why isn't it holding up better as a hedge at the very least? As an, inf as an, uh, because you know, it's ten years old. Right? Well, come on, it's now years forty. Old. The, it's the, 10 the years equity old. market's been slaughtered the last three months. Gold is up four and a half percent. Bitcoin's down 45%. Because we're in the liquidation. If you look at Bitcoin, if you bought Bitcoin two years ago versus the S&P or any other asset, you're still up more. If you bought Bitcoin two years ago versus gold, you're still up more. If you bought Bitcoin a year ago, quite frankly, you're still up more. And so you've got to sometimes step back from the immediate and look at the, the, the slope we're going on. It's actually close to a miracle that some guy created a program that 10 years later still has $80 billion of value that had a lot more than 80, but is worth $80 billion uh, as a digital store of value that got David Swenson from Yale to invest in it. That got Abby Johnson from Fidelity to say, we're going to build a business around crypto. So it's easy to smash it right now, but if you step back and look at it in a broader perspective, it's pretty cool. How much, let's go back to your. So yeah, unfortunately, crypto has been very unfortunate for the investors who got in late and you can see the bubble. Uh, it's been just flat and in a bear market for over a year, but you got to take it in perspective. And Mike Novogratz is a very knowledgeable investor and he brings a great point when it comes to cryptocurrencies. So uh, I will continue to be making purchases of cryptocurrency, but I'm looking to average my buys in, and I do see a long-term future with crypto. Um, have we hit a bottom? I don't think so, but only time will tell. But let me know what you guys think about this, and I will talk to you guys soon.